Good afternoon. Hi there. My name is Emma and welcome to Self Growth Uncensored. Today I wanted to talk about why why you can't say no and the power in it and why you should start to say no. Okay. So we're just going to get straight into it. So the consequences of saying yes all the time. This is so important to understand. When you're saying yes to everything and everybody, what you're really doing is you're depleting your own energy and you're, you're giving it to other people when it doesn't belong to them. You're really just feeding into this people pleaser mentality and the more that you practice being a certain version of yourself, the more that you're actually going to show up. So if you're showing up as someone who can't say no and who's always saying yes to people, you're training yourself to be a people pleaser. By doing this, you're going to completely waste your time and you're going to indulge it in people and activities that are toxic and will not help you become the best version of yourself. It is just going to be a constant negative feedback loop where you're going to feel like you need to people please and then people are going to not respect you and it's just going to build and build and build on each other until you get this point where you are just completely depleted and you have nothing left to give because all of the energy which you should have been giving to yourself, you've given it all away to other people. Now we move on to the reasons of why why might you be this way? There, there might be a couple, okay? So you could either be raised by your parents who are nice guys or nice girls and because we develop the beliefs from our parents that's where like we get our our main belief system if your mom or your dad was like always saying yes 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 of course or never wanting to cause any conflict or anything like that that gets passed on to you and your brain perceives that as oh well this is a part of my identity and the brain the brain hates trying to change the identity because it feels like a threat to your existence and your life so by saying yes to people what your brain is perceiving that as is oh fuck uh she's acting in a way that she doesn't normally act i need to protect i need to protect i need to send all of the this anxiety these thoughts so i can stay in this identity of being a person who can't say no of being a people pleaser another thing with not being able to say no is that deep down what you really just want is for others to be happy and so that you can get that validation it really comes from a place of well if i am extremely loyal to someone if i always say yes if i'm always there to help out then they will just value me so much and they'll love me and there's no way that they'll ever take me for granted but the opposite will happen because you're disrespecting yourself and your own time Others can can see that and they can feel that it shows up in your body language, it shows up in your eye contact, the way that you speak, the way that you talk, everything. It's not something that you're going to be able to hide. You cannot hide lack of self-respect for self because it will always show up. Now that we know that the consequences of saying yes are so, so bad and will impact you immensely... And then also the the why you can't say no, kind of like the past of how you got to this position. We need to talk about how you can actually start saying no. I'm going to be completely honest and frank. It's not going to be easy at first because when you're trying to grow and change something about yourself that isn't particularly helping you and is a flaw or a flaw because it's a matter of perception, it's going to be incredibly uncomfortable and difficult because we cannot we're not actually going to be growing as a person if it's an easy thing to do that's just that's just not how it works anytime if you look back in your life and you think of all the times that you've had pain and and pressure that has almost forced you to grow this is a, the same circumstance but one way that you can start is just very small things. Just just starting will get the ball rolling such as if your friend if you have plans such as oh I was planning on going to the gym after school and then I need to wash my car and do my laundry and clean my room, do my homework, blah blah blah. You have these these preconceived plans and then a friend asks you like, "Oh hey, like 
I don't really have anyone to hang out today. Like, are you free? And you're like, oh man, but like, I don't want them to like think I don't like them or I want them to like me. Uh, maybe I'll just like cancel my plan. No, no, no. You can be nice about it. You can be not nice. You can be polite. Just be like, no, thank you. I am busy with other things and I don't have the time. It's not like you have to um, go cold turkey on never uh, saying <laughs> yes again. It's just you have to ask yourself the question, do I genuinely desire to do this? Do I genuinely desire to go to this party or hang out with this person or do this favor? Or is it coming from a place of I want this person to like me and I want to make them happy, but really I want the benefit of feeling that validation within myself and you have to be honest with yourself and just like everything practice makes progress I don't like the phrase practice makes perfect because I don't think that we as human beings are perfect nor will ever be perfect so that by just practicing a lot you're going to make progress and being able to say no is going to become easier over time and it's going to get more comfortable. The only reason why you can't say no is because it is so darn unfamiliar with to, to you. People love familiar, familiarity. Oh my god, I cannot say that word. We as human beings like routine. We like structure. We like to have things to fall back onto. So when we're open, when we're um, opened up to something new there can be a, an immediate reaction of being like, oh shit, like I don't, I don't know if I can do that. A way to build your confidence when it comes to learning how to say no is honestly, it's, it's giving yourself the validation through affirmations or journaling, just writing down physically or saying out loud in the mirror and practicing saying no and reminding yourself that it's a sign of self-respect and just like um, the whole idea of, oh, if I let someone go, then they're going to let go too. But really the opposite happens and usually they end up coming back. It's the same thing with this. You feel like people are going to lose respect for you, but really they're going to gain respect for you. Because you're respecting yourself. You're respecting your time. With, think, of, think of successful people. They do not have time to fuck around with, with bull with other people they have priorities and they know that their their time can do very very valuable things so by prioritizing your own time other people are going to see that and when you decide to give your time to somebody else they'll be like oh my god like I feel so special like this person I know they value their time so when they're with me I know that they value me too this is going to create a positive positive feedback loop in the sense of as you start to gain self-respect, others are going to start gaining self-respect for you. And it's just going to keep on building on each other. And as you're just going to keep on affirming and growing that it's okay to say no, you don't have to say yes to people. You are not obligated, obligated to do so. Because we're all responsible for our own emo emotional well-being. We are not responsible for others. Yes, we can care and we can support. But at the end of the day, if someone... If someone feels like they need to rely on you, you it is not your responsibility to fix them. That is implying that there is something wrong with them. Do you see how that dynamic isn't very healthy? What you really need to do is focus on your own emotional stability and your own emotional well-being. And finally, the benefits of saying no. Not only are you going to get rid of toxic people in your life, toxic friends or, or relationships, but you're going to start bringing in people that you actually get along with a lot better and that truly respect your time. Instead of draining your cup, you're going to start filling it because you're preserving your own energy and you're putting it back where it should be in your body instead of giving it out to other people and pushing them away because you 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 are giving off needy energy when you cannot say no. So by putting this energy back in your body, you're you're giving off the energy you're you're telling the people around you, I respect myself, I'm comfortable in myself, I respect my my body and my time and 
I'm not available if you are a person that does not do that as well. Another benefit about this is that when you start respecting your time, you and saying no to, and saying no to other people, you start to discover what you value and what your passions are because when you're not saying yes to people what you're choosing is yourself and when you're choosing yourself you're oftentimes going to have moments alone and in those moments alone you're able you're, you're given the the space to reflect and think about okay what do I value in people what do I value in my life and what sort of passions should I follow so that I can be in alignment with who I truly want to be I know this was a short video, but I just really wanted to give a concise breakdown of why you need to start saying no and how important and how this will elevate your energy, elevate your life, elevate your mind, all of it. Okay, I hope that you took some insight from this and I'll see you soon.